Hello folks, hope you guys are doing good. In this video session, we are going to understand how we can be an awesome web developer. Those who are very new to this industry, they can understand the basics, how the things works together, like how we can publish a web application, what the different technology are using, why there are many UI framework, UI libraries, how you can utilize, how the browser works with them. So let's jump in. Basically a web browser render websites and a websites being developed by using multiple different web technologies. A developer publish a website or web application into the server and from the server we generally fetch the websites into our machine. For an example if we say facebook.com or google.com right a developer uses basically three things javascript css html a browser understand only javascript html and css nothing else let's understand what is bom and dom bom and dom bom stands for browser object model whereas dom stands for document object model but before we jump in we should understand how javascript works a javascript combines basically three things the core the document object model and the browser object model in browser object model we have window the similar like the way you have where you have maximize minimize and close button but if you talk about your chrome or edge which is as a browser so it has a few objects in it like a window which further contains navigator history screen location or document objects through history you can retrieve the user's journey like which particular url he went to and what he has done location is nothing but where which location he is currently screen through uh, through a screen object you can interact with the screen sizes and all similar with the document navigator in document object model generally we write our html similar to this and if you put your html into a visualizer tool it actually get constructed something like this it's nothing but a tree structure so a document gets rendered on the browser but we do not see the websites like this rather it's very beautiful and you know interactive and in order to interact with that website we use document api it's an api through which you interact with the document now we understood that browser only understand html which is nothing but a hypertext markup language css cascading style sheet and javascript and believe me 97 percent websites are developed on js only so it's a very recognized you know popular language across the world and it has been evolved in last 25 years our javascript is very powerful we can create dynamic pages it's it's not like that without javascript we cannot develop web pages we can but they are they would be static pages we, we don't have interaction on it right aside uh, only the hyperlinks so nowadays javascript can do awesome things for an example it can you know uh, can be useful on developing web application or websites mobile apps uh, maybe web server you know uh, applications like node node.js is one of the example uh, which is you know built on the top of javascript we can also use javascript on game development even on our machine learning so here are few bullet points you can uh, read through now what is html HTML is nothing but uh, a set of markup symbols or codes inserted into a file intended for display on the internet. CSS, cascading style sheets. Cascading refers to fact that there is a hierarchy. Okay, so if you put some CSS on the top of the uh, on the top of the element, it will automatically cascade it to the child element as well. If you want, you can override it. So simplest way you can understand all the browser comes with a default look and feel. So now we we understood. Okay, browser understand JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. And then how this Angular and React works on the browser? 
for browser there is nothing as such angular or react everything is pure javascript css or html you know that in angular framework we use sas type script components and you know finally they get converted into module so when you build your application you will see under your maybe dist folder or you under your build folder you will see that uh, there are only file which are basically javascript css and html so here angular and react the difference between is that angular is a framework react is a library but you know we can develop our application by using both of them they have their own features that you know i have discussed in different videos you can watch out but you know before that you should build your basic understanding there is a concept of transpiling which is nothing but a process to convert the typescript into javascript in day to day life we deal with a lot of technology so i am trying to segregate how the things in which area so if you talk about the front end we are we we do use angular react javascript or vuejs whereas on the back end there is a node .NET, python uh, on the database side so we have mysql sql server or oracle which which actually contains a persistent state so for an example uh, our websites whatever we are feeding into the form that is not getting permanently stored right if you refresh your website everything will be gone whereas if you store it into the database it can be retrieved further right through uh, through the backend technologies on the cone management sites we have github bitbucket tfs to where you know check in your code and check out your code which means you push your code to the to the particular server and then where you, you know you can merge different branches Maybe if you wish, I can bring another video where you get a fair idea like how we, you know, put different branches and merge, merge that, right? So do comment on that part if you want. I would love to record another video on it. Cloud. So why cloud is required? Cloud nowadays is very much important. Whatever you see, like for example, if you see Amazon.com, right? You never find that Amazon is down. Why? Because there is a mechanism of Kubernetes where it automatically scale up different nodes on the cloud if there is a huge demand. So uh, during the sale time, you know, there is a load on a particular website. So automatically it creates another instance and, you know, deploy it. You never know. And when it, 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 the load comes down, it actually scale down as well. So most of the things are nowadays automated. But yes, uh, uh, cloud is nothing but where, you know, you do not need the expensive hardware and uh, you know big setup at your home or maybe in somewhere rather uh, these technologies are being provided by a giant organization like uh, Amazon, Google or Microsoft. Now how we develop our application. So if you are developing something from scratch and you know that I need to target different users who can use our application into mobile tablet laptop or desktop or on big, bigger screen so there is a concept of responsive design where we do consider basically four viewports so we always you should go with the mobile first approach because once everything looks great on the mobile it helps you to rank your website or web application in google search and if you use responsive uh, web design so it will help you to render your application on different different viewports without you know developing multiple versions of your application the process we follow there are two categories one is ux which is the user experience folks mainly focus on how user will you know use your application they understand the psychology of uh, uh, users where to put button what uh, color combination to use what fonts need to be used so what they do they you know understand the requirement where you know business analyst guest involved some ui senior folks like us ui architects or leads gets uh, you know uh, into the discussion and further us ux guys ux team you know develop uh, or design ui mockups which are uh, and they, they, these mockups are uh, base for the ui developers uh, ui developers take these mockups and it, it very, looks very similar what you are going to develop and uh, you need to make it very pixel perfect so it give all the information like what font to use and what 
you know maybe margin padding need to put on it and uh, once it is developed then you can get it reviewed by ux team as well right but uh, only the user experience along with the service you need to have the functionality where you put the things on the javascript side which you know get interacted with your backend through rest apis once you are done you push your code into the server and before that you do you know code review maybe a peer review with your colleagues and finally when everything is good you deploy to the server this is the basic understanding how our web application works we have different clients who use different devices and once it is deployed on the server it should be available to all other uh, to our clients or customers so if you here the ui developers they will more talk on uh, angular react javascript view js github bitbucket all those things html css typescript whereas on the agile methodology you will understand how the things are being managed and the way they develop you know they uh, frequently check in or check out the code they do the code review generally in an organization we have different different environments uh, they are nothing but different uh, server uh, for an example dev which is basically belongs to uh, developers suppose you develop something and you deploy it you want to get you want to get the feel like how the things looks like after deployment and if you find some bugs over there you can fix it once you once you feel that okay everything is fine you move this you deploy the same application to qa environment where the quality analyst test the application and when the tester pass it it goes to uat which is nothing but user acceptance test which is mostly the business user we are going to actually use the application and once they approve we move we deploy the application into the production which is prod in order to develop the our web application we use different tools like uh, visual studio we do use some front end testing frameworks like jasmine karma cypress so we will discuss a lot of things on it just let me know throughout the comment okay so this is the basic segregation between a web developer and web designer they are different team so think in that way web developer generally deals with react angular view express node.js php java database i mean in order to connect with the backend team they deal with this technology as well whereas web designer deal with uh, adobe xd photoshop uh, they they do use the web standards you know they they do have also basic understanding of java so hope uh, you understood the basic ideology like how you could be a web developer a good web developer where what you need to understand and how the things work please do subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends we have launched uh, another channel which is front pro hindi do watch it really you know uh, want to understand the things into their native language. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.